The following video is meant for the adult nerds in the community, so if you're under 13, please stop. Hey all, James Sharmack here from the Nerd Room with J&J. Today I'm reviewing Zombieland Double Tap Road Trip. Seeing if it's any good, see if it's worthy of the Zombieland franchise, and uh, see if you're going to enjoy it or not. So uh, stick around and uh, let's see what I think. Based on the movie and starring the characters from the movie, the game is focused on getting from California to Washington, D.C., making stops along the way for supplies, food, gas, and whatever. The control scheme is an acquired taste, using L3 for movement, R3 for aim, R1 for actions, L2 and R2 for weapons. It took me a while to get the hang of it, but it is what it is, I guess, right? Next to your character icons, you have two meters. The yellow meter is your hero meter. Uh, get that filled up and you can press L1 and R1 and activate your uh, hero's secret power. At the end of each stage, you can upgrade your skills like health, ammo, speed, whatever, the usual stuff. The game features a top-down view, allowing for a spacious view of the playfield. Missions are simple enough. Just complete a quest, whether it's... Uh, Saving an old lady or making sure you find enough weapons and don't get killed. Along the way, you can use equipment to uh, get some extra kills off the zombies themselves. Not every zombie is the same, of course. So, of course, since it's a game, you have what they call the hero zombies, the mini bosses. The ones that are more powerful, and uh, their intro scenes are pretty funny, I must say. The voice work is fine. I wish they could have gotten the actors for it, but. The voices are close enough to the uh, roles where it's not annoying. For a $40 price point, the 10 mission storyline aspect of the game, excluding the side missions, goes by way too fast and can be completed in 5 hours or less. And the gameplay can get very repetitive. There is, however, a survival mode that you can play as well, but that goes by quick too as that's basically just 10 waves of zombies trying to get you. I can see maybe the game selling for $20, which I bought it for on, you know, as a PlayStation deal, to, but I can't really see much that would warrant otherwise for selling it at $40. The game features hit detection that requires pinpoint accuracy for most of the game. You can upgrade your weapons and the amount of ammo you carry and use, but even then you will use a pretty decent amount when you're, you know, facing a horde or whatever. And I hate the fact that, you know, it takes so long to reload a weapon because most of that time I get killed. It takes far too long for me to reload, seriously. And I'm not a big fan of the button response when you're trying to pick up mid items. Sometimes it doesn't even register. Are you kidding me? Zombie Land Double Tap Road Trip a title, while reminiscent of games like Gauntlet and the PS3 digital uh, zombie apocalypse, feels much like a cash grab to me. While it's fun to play, I wonder if the developers could have included more elements from both movies instead of just trying to make it more an in-between adventure to tie them both together. A severe lack of online features weighs this title down for me and makes you wonder what it could have been. You could have an online tournament online playability instead of just relying on ancient same game co-op. Wonky controls and detection aside, I probably would have liked it more if it was half the price. Will I play it again? Sure. But it would have been nice if it was more movie inclusive. Anyways guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this review, seeing what I thought of it. I appreciate it. James Sharmack in a nerd room with J&J. If you like this review, want to see more film reviews, hit that like button, let me know in the comments below, and we'll see what happens. Anyways, thank you guys so much. See you next time in the Nerd Group, and uh, as usual, keep on collecting and happy hunting.